If you could hear, my nose is extremely congested. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah, I haven't been well for the past two days. And during the day today, I felt, wow, my energy is back. I'm good to go. We can do the stream. And then my body's acting up. So even when I'm singing, I'm trying my best to be here and be present because it's a commitment um, I made. So if you're seeing me wiping my nose, please bear with me. It's not snuff. Uh, it's just that my nose is naughty. My throat is scratchy. You could hear that my voice is very horsey. I think we picked up something because we had umkiti this past weekend. So we all came back not feeling well. Mm. I think it's also just been now, just been just a lot of umkiti back to back. That's a topic for another day about mm. how Sangomas actually bend themselves out and you know, um, completely dysregulate their own hormone system in the name of it was Lifuna, it was Lati. That's one thing that we are learning with. We just, as much as we both know that we're not held at hostage by Amados, but we feel so much pressure somewhat to continue doing functions, you know, Ibikiti, all of that, one after the other because Amados, mm-hmm. Amados, but not understanding which this body has got a limitation. Mm-hmm. Three days, Ungalali, Ibikiti, back to back, it's no chance <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, so when mm-hmm. <laughs> makes a funny echo. So I've stopped doing baby slave millions of my life just to keep it clean. It's also because we're trying to move into a proper podcast. Yeah, but so but me I'm going to just that Gunjalo. So tonight's topic we are discussing parenting spiritually gifted children. We've had a lot of people 
in our DMs, in the comments to say, go, go, please guide us. How do you parent a gifted child? Please note that this is our guidance based on our experiences, based on the four kids. We both have four kids and all of the four kids are spiritually gifted. Mm -hmm. Before I even went to go initiate, when I went to for consultation, they said, where are your kids? And I'm like, my kids back on and like no you don't have kids as abandon a macula abandon a bit rosy mass of manga sabas when this is no and look about but about that ala but you about why and don't you know don't feel frustrated with them and of course it's not necessarily true that i don't get frustrated with my kids but all of the four mm. kids we know that this uniquely spiritually gifted i mean it's all in those boosies so when he was seven men that we were preparing i think no he was mm. six right six seven there when he started having premonitions and interactions with the spirit world so we're going to share based on our experiences as parents but also based on our experiences as abokobela and some of the things that we have seen that can actually help you navigate because one thing that we are clear both me and kulu is that we do not advocate for children to go through initiation processes we know, uh, I think I've said this before, it robs them of their childhood. It is also just a traumatic experience for a child to go and take such a huge responsibility mm. um, at a young age because it means that their life takes a 10 that, not, you know, and that they have not really consented for because you as a parent will have to consent for your child going through initiation, not them. As much as it can be pressing and it could be like, yo, they have no body, so they can't dictate to the body. It is in very rare occasions where we can see, we can know all options have been exhausted, you know, therefore, but we see it, yes, baby, like a lot of, when we see, Abanduba posting up with, with initiates, we see more and more younger people getting into it. People are asking, is it fashion? Is it all sorts of things? I'm actually doing a show next week to talk about what is really happening? How are we are we confusing mental illness with spiritual callings? You know, all of those things because people are becoming concerned because young people are being robbed of a childhood. You know, I had um, um a friend of mine call me today and tell me, because I went to the Sunkiti over the weekend and there were kids, like 16, 15 year olds kids and they were drinking and drunk while initiating and it was so disheartening for him to watch you see that's that's the thing because also remember they don't have the level of emotional maturity and mental capacity to deal with the strainers and intensity of initiation so they're gonna look for a pacifier last week we were talking about addictions and that's how they start drinking to escape the harshness and the burden and the you know, mm. responsibility of initiating at such a young age. So um, we don't advocate. We, if, if there's no option, of course, but I can't have 20 initiates who are under 21, and I think that that's okay, right? And I think, no, they're all, their doses are pressing them. There is ways and interventions that can be done earlier on. So I'm going to speak... Uh, we're going to speak to some of the signs that you can tell that your child is gifted and some of the things that one can do to help umdwana with the anger trust yet to like kind of slow down the process, right? Regress it, acknowledge it, but have it slow down. And the things in which you can actually do to aid and fit the gift without them having to go through initiation. I hope it's making sense. Um, do you want to have a go? Mm. Some signs that we can talk about. Togos, Togosan, Togosan, Mandavatala, Send Binella, Yeway, Nyauza, my voice, I am Bilai. Scholars Pumi, Scholars Pumi. And just in the way that we lend the Ogok, I call my good air. We endure a plume, we in Zima, Ogbona, Abandona, Beta, and Guibo, Alham, Bayo, Twala, Ichogo, Gabona, Baham, Babume, Bonnet, Fanelli. Bio bio vuselela ukosi basi makaya. Moba it's not good to abanda batala aba abeko aba piwe in those families sometimes. It's just that good to banye batazinga na banye wenzagadani. And that is why as in these diseases hamba zifinye nele abantu ane. Yes. Mube ibo na abantu ane kufanya na baotoasa because of now it was dala lindi and the nan of the family members are agreeing to the calling. Anya yezindo ayenza oguti 
abanye abantwana abachose basase bancane yeah and yebo kwesinye isikhathi ezinye sezinto is because of asifuni thina abantu abadala abathwasile noma bogubela ukubhekisisa kahle yes isimo ngabo then bese ke sifaka abantwana babanda encipheni kanti ngesinye isikhathi kuye kufuna kala ukuthi si exhaust all the avenues sizame ngokusemandleni ukukhulumisana nabantu abadala abaphela umntwana isipho not ukuthi sizivale kodwa kuyocela kuyoncengisa ukuthi bese samcelele isikhathi mhlambe kunezinto esingavuma ukuthi azenze ukuze bakwazi ukuncengeka babe khona kuye babone ukuthi siya acknowledge ngoba ngesinye isikhathi nokuthi athwase mhlambe bafuna just ukuba acknowledged ukuthi yebo siyavuma ukuthi umkhoro umntwana nahamba naye nawe uyanivuma umntwana okodwa kwamanje sisamcelele isikhashanyana nje ukuthi ngobusa semncane ngisho na sengqondweni kusase emnyama emsweni nenkawo ukuye bona le nto sicele si exhaust all those avenues there's abantu abadala ngoba ngesinye isikhathi into ehamba ibe inkinga ukuthi si singakwazi ukuexhausta those avenues is because of nathi sithwasisa asinabo abantu abadala sibuza kubo mm. once you don't have abantu who will beef you up abazo 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 bilekelela ngezinto ezihamba zixhopha because that is why mo gobela fanele ube nabanye abogobela osebenzisana nabo abakhulisile wena nguyo lendlela that is why kubalekile ukuthi ama relationships ethu nabantu abazikhulisile kubule nobudlelwano obukhona ngoba kuzoba nesikhathi lawo uzodinga bona ukuthi uyibona kudala bakulendlela bazokwazi ukuzibonisa ukuthi yenza kanje yenza kanje mo bese kwazi ukuyela kubantu abadala bakwazi ukusibonisa ngezinye zezinto and the ones we've exhausted zonke lezo zinto then that's when we can say hey sizame ngakho konke yebo kukhona elinye indlo zizoba nendane ngeke livume kukhona abanye abazozwela bathi cha esesiyanizwa ngoba sinendi senzele lokho nalokho mhlambe singavuma ukuqha sinike isikhashanyana ezinye zezinto esingazibheka ukuthi singazenza ukuthi silekelele ukuthi abantwana bangahambi bayothwasa kusase kusase eli and ezinye zezinto kungatholakala ukuthi mhlambe into elula nje ukuthi mhlambe umntwana ufuna usiko kwenzela usiko kwenzela usiko bese ke kuba right indlo zikwazi ukuhlaniseka omunye kufanele ukuthi mhlambe ayo kwenzelwa amagobo wenziwa amagobongo adlele ligobo acknowledge isibu omunye mhlambe kufunakala amabhithi kufanele afaka amabhithi ezinye zezinto ezingenziwa ukugwe ukuzama ukugwema ukuthi basheshe basase bancane bangakaqedi ngisho neyikolo yabona especially those 15 13 those are, are, are still very young Okay, I'm gonna lend you the yeah, I think it's it's some of those things as 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 nazamu guzenza or as nazbega guti singenze njano kusikiri nazo uguze siguazi uguti sibo na vanda vanda guti bangalege le laganjani pewe si mo sabando na who are gifted and the yebo abanye aguko uguzenza no musuzi amego unge uguti wenze lo wenze lo kuliti itlozi. Kati na vele simfuna engaga. Den meguga njalo, agunko nga wenza mba kusuye si mga pezo kwa mantlako. Tumosis. Mba 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 wanda nge zulu. Fanele ntolo nge na won't remember everything that you're saying. Because angisho some tribe members are not from the continent and they're not from South Africa. So they struggle with language. But I think what you said was deeply profound. I think just to summarize. And guys, unfortunately, we can't always be speaking in English when Mkulu is here because... He teaches in his indigenous language and it's an invitation for you to close your eyes and listen with your heart. And, sh- and I'm sure that, you know, you will be ministered through some of the words that he, he you know, he utters. And maybe it's an invitation for you to learn mm-hmm. a language different than yours, because this is an invitation. Because Nguni language, you know, cuts across all, almost all sectors of Africa. If you, if you, I mean, that's another story for another, the Bantu people and how we are interconnected across the whole continent it's an invitation because english is not our first language it's a borrowed language but we've kind of made it a universal language and we glorify ourselves for speaking very good english but we do not glorify ourselves and motivate ourselves to speak our mother's tongue so that's an invitation to those who don't hear just listen do you get some things because mkulu mixes but today i think uno mkasha <coughs> so in summary i think what mkulu was covering basically was covering some of the things that mislead us as abogobela to initiating children versus actually us 
you know, uh, exhausting other options. I think one thing that you've said is that we, when we graduate somewhat from, uh, from, 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 from being Sangomas mm. and we go and graduate at being Gobelas, and not everybody is actually qualified to be a Gobela. And this is where you see a lot of discrepancies because people don't have initiation codes. Given initiation codes, you are also given ways in which you can actually work around a young person who's gifted. And I can never emphasize enough that, are you sure that the Kobela who claims to be one is initiated as one, right? Because everybody needs some sort of saying, and you know, there, there has to be something. And you could hear when people speak that they know what they're talking about. I'm not trying to sell you a service or a product, mm -hmm. but I can actually, I can tell you something around ethos that now you yourself can 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 understand please remember to subscribe put the notification button on like the video share it check somebody who needs to listen to this a friend of yours a family member a somebody whom you know that they're struggling with a gifted child and they don't know what to do because this could be the message that they're seeking today so um, Kulu was summarizing that that the importance of having elders in our field of practice where we can actually consult and get insight because so those who walk the journey longer than us our governors have initiated i mean tina sisano mina misano baba so I've got a, a father, I've got a grandparent and a great grandparent that knows mm -hmm. So I always go through, you know, I go through, the, well, the most channels I go through is my grandparent and my great grandparent. And I know that my great great parent has more experience and knowledge than my grandparent, you know, and my grandparent is more knowledge than my father because, you know, they've been in the game longer than I've been. You know, my Kobela has been initiated for 25 plus years. Mm -hmm. Um, my great great parent got initiated in 1970 something. So these are very well experienced healers that when I'm struggling, and this is what we've learned because we have also made mistakes as Abu Kobela without consulting, thinking with oh no, but if it was is showing Lomdana these dreams, therefore it means it is like that, right? And that's not necessarily true because even if those can be ready to initiate, but is that child mentally and emotionally ready now? Because already awakening to the gift is a traumatic experience. So these are some of the signs that you can tell your child mm. is gifted. One is that they actually behave and act older than their age. The things that they say, this is what adults will say. They speak certain things out of the blue that, yeah, yeah. I saw a somebody or I saw a grandmother or this, I had this visitation, mm. you, know, they, you know, so they, they, and it would look like they're talking to themselves sometimes but they don't actually relate with their peers. They are sensitive. They are sensitive to certain environments. They're sensitive to certain foods. They've got just a whole lot of sensitivities that they pick up other people's energies. So it could be a child that you go and visit someone and it's like, adamantly, I don't want to go. No, right? Mm -hmm. They also are children that ask a lot of questions. They don't just accept the status quo. They, they challenge authority and systems at, at play because since the 1970s, apparently, but in heightened in the 1990s, when we entered what we call um, the new earth, as we were, you know, letting go of the old systems and, 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 and making our way into the Aquarian era, meaning the divine feminine ruler. So there, there were more children who were being born with higher levels of consciousness and, you know, called indigo children. So you could see that those children are not like children that we know. If, if even when you look, we've got a, we've got an older son who's in um, almost in his late teens, and then one who is just five, and they're totally different. The five year old is like you know the other day, oh, Umkulu says, "Hey, we are Papa." See, I see Papa, right? Like that, like with confidence, like asking mm -hmm. those things. Like Siabonga would do things that from when he was one. Because make note of the awakening moments at one, at three, at seven, at nine, at 12, at 16, and again at 18, 19. So those ages, they go through uh, different stages of awakening. They will present different things to you, right? So we knew Sia when he was younger, he was extremely deeply connected and deeply intuitive. Like he would guide us to do certain things, or we will be speaking about something at some bit. Path. And then you say, see a what? And he becomes a one year old or one and a half year old. So understand that they challenge authority. They don't take things, the status quo. They are creatives as well. So they're really passionate about music, drawing, 
dancing, you know, they've got a creative inclination mm-hmm. to them. They have an artistic, because uh, healing, it's an art of African spirituality, is the arts of African spirituality. Because a lot of creatives are healers, because to heal is to create a new field for somebody, and that's what creatives do. Um, so, and they are likely to be loners as well, you know, mm-hmm. because they are experiencing things that other kids don't experience. Yes. So they might suffer from bullying from other kids because, you know, they're not, they're not at the same level as their peers and they must struggle. They might struggle with schooling as well. So you might find that they actually have a, you know, they've got learning challenges or they're just too smart for that grade. Like they just, you know, remember when Sia used to pass, Sia passed in COVID, like we don't know how, but he was the top of his class. But Sia, what he did is, and this time Sia was too, but he spent a lot of his time at Cosmo with dad facilitating spiritual rituals. Yeah. You know, for Ubabak. So these are some of the signs, and these are children that might also struggle with certain men, like mental, you know, disorders. We can't go into details to distinguish if it's a mental illness or it's a spiritual calling of a child, I would just suggest that you see both and then you get both perspectives because it needs to be a formal diagnosis. We can't diagnose for you over here. That will be irresponsible because those children can also be, you know, be diagnosed with hypersensitivity, uh, you know, attention deficit disorder, like a lot of other things. But it's because they see beyond this time, they see, they access the future timeline and they access the past. They are old souls, you know, some of them are old souls. So it makes it quite difficult for them to fit in into this world, right? And they also love to be problem solvers. They are quite helpful. They are, yeah, they they have a nurturing, um, you know, um, nurturing energy to them. They've got a strong inclination to nature, you know, whether they love plants, they love planting trees or love dogs, you know, they quite have, they have those relation to natural spaces because that way they can feel it, they can sense things. I hope those, I've outlined some of the signs that can tell and it becomes definite when you trust us to dream of people that he doesn't or she doesn't know anything about and you know, that's a clear indication, you know. So I would say that look at those symptoms and start to work with them as they start to surface. Do not wait for the dreams to start being pressing because by the time you wait, it might be very difficult for the process to be slowed down because they might have moved on the other side. So when you start to, and they can also present themselves as the problem child because I get they question authority, they're unsettled, they don't want to do the thing that everybody's doing. So they're not like your ordinary child and you might see it as troubled so as much as you are seeking mental something, but also seek a spiritual intervention. And like mm-hmm. Batum Kuru said, in the spiritual consultation, we look into their spirit fields, right? But we also assess their mental and emotional because all of those things are interconnected and say, what's going on in this child field that is creating distress? Then the child is acting the way that they're acting. And you could find that what is creating distress is, you know, the fact that mommy and daddy have divorced because they go through awakening through also traumatic experiences like when there's a divorce or when there's some some sort of tragedy is when they like ele- like it goes like right so we need to also be able to heal that trauma and tragedy for the child before we can actually ask them to do anything w- with their gift so we we will take questions and uh uh let's see but we Nkulu can also speak to some of the things we've done to help our children mm-hmm. with their gifts. Charles Akokonum Kultoni is of age, grew up in a family Abandu, Abam Shop is spiritually gifted. That's how they address it. I have been encountering disturbing dreams. I sometimes dream of his uncle and all. Yeah, I mean you grew up with Abandamam Shop. I'm sure that's how we refer it to a tongue and club as Tosin. Tetanabasekaya, guys. I think we need to also start having good relationship with I mean, that's one of the things having a good relationship with your parents because I try by all means to have my kids tell me their dreams and interpret it for them. And if I don't understand it, I encourage them to pass that. So even when they've had what is a nightmare, I'm like, tell me what's a nightmare. And I'm like, no, you were having a visitation. So we need to, as we parent, 
be open in communicating and not dismissing or sit up and down by a papa or by the world, you know? Mm -hmm. Some of the things, yo, this flu is cooking the pots for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I am going to do I'm a question so that we can go. Uh, I think opening oh, says yeah. I think I've missed yeah. some. No, I think we can just speak about like, you know, mm -hmm. I think you did speak about some of the things that Kobong or Isigo, but also mm -hmm. immensing them in rituals, teaching the kids to part, uh, teaching them. First of all, the most important thing is that do not demonize your child. Do not. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Even when you are trying to question, but question from a place of curiosity, not a place of demonization. So question to seek to understand what their experiences are. Because truth be told, our kids have access to social media. And so forth. So when you're questioning your child, you are questioning them not to feel like what they have is a sin or it's wrong or there's something wrong with them but rather have them embrace it for themselves because it becomes, we've seen kids going to trans. It is traumatizing to a 13 year old. It is traumatizing to a nine year old who comes out of the trans, like what's going on? Then, <coughs> okay, baby, it's your turn to speak. <laughs> yeah. Yo. I, you can tell that, um, yeah, see for still in the live stream, as young woman say, yes, hey, see for still. Yeah, no. And I think um, also in general, because just involve them. In, in fact, even if there's a marriage, <laughs> and we also understand that not everybody has the luxury of they will see in seven Makai and all that to love yeah. when they were in. I think about they were, they were privileged or lucky enough. Oguti so babili siri si zango ma endes landeli la izindo zamasiro eka and all that. Then when we slaughter, we see is always they always interested. Yeah, they are always there. Buyers, imbuzi, gomo. Then they can do it <laughs> now. Now, jomo babelon. Then those are the things that brings them closer. No ultimate pasha babu zaini why oh ganja. And then they can now. Be able to recite even you know stagas and sasaka. Yeah. Those are the things as well as good zilegelele. And I think also it's just slowly but surely as the Singapanda Bamyama, we need to go back to Izindoza Semakai. And uh Izindozo Varashela Ekaya, Emakaya, those aba abanayo in the Bangay Makaya. Please do Nama we Nama holidays December and all so that abantu ana bakule baz buti ekas na buban we are born alone dole abaz buti kabo mama kabo baba yes we understand buti situations are different we na banye ekaya gula zani le kona asizaz zinizi duyabon but yes it's okay but there's always something that we can do we are born to find out or what is na buban so that. We are able to connect ourselves to something. We are able to see all Sibuya Gupi or Gupi. And the Ezinya Izindo was Jomaba Asho Ulona Ukokuti, Umamela Mapupo, and all that, so that we can also stall it. Umshashantila Jomaba Bashisha Isos, Abandana, Sasmamela Mapupo, and all that is born. And the Dio Sola, which is your peg, would go in Zagalan, Gashirashi, Nefuno Wenziwa, Schoolman Avanda Batana, FML, Uti. As much as he sees Zangoma, but goodness is in those who see go finally screaming about the battle as much as Nabote Kobel and all that. Sibuzi Sekai, a good Ekai wins one, make so so so. Now you go, I was the Sekai, make good so 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 wins one. Moba, Kuna Lavanduan would as much as Nabenzela Ekai Giti, one that. But Uzo Funagan would in Lambina Kabu Mamaki. It's fine. something else. Yeah. 
utholo ukuthi bahamba nomntu omdala wangapha then kube nezinto uto njengoba lo mntwana senembize kanje senimenze kanje sekudingakala ukuthi nimthuthe ngendlela ekanje nakanje so that izinto zakhe zizokwazi ukuthi zenzeke kahle izinto zakhe zizokwazi ukukhanya kahle ukuyibona njengoba wabantwana abanye abantu abadala satshela ukuthi bacela ukuthi singase abashaya ngoba sesishaya sesishaya abantu abadala Okay, one of the more than a scatty yebo we mess cooler, basic discipline with a usuas in ease. But then when we were told, okay, now we need to find a new way of disciplining. Okay, but is in do as the as in when you're raising a gifted child, but in you need to look at those things, you look to look at those things, and any ever corner le a singer in a disease, but it's not for all of the kids. Oguti kuna bantu ana oguti jamu baba gifted. They need amakama atize asekaya. Oguti jamu baba bantu ana a gifted. Ugeo fanya oguti abizu ni kama la gasbani manu mbaba kwa kumchan. Ugeo bana lendo. Amakama ahamba ashupe kubantu ana baba gifted. Yeah, so Rosa says, drop a heart if you think I can start a podcast. I'm working on it because I think it's overdue. I think we do. We do need a a a channel where we, I mean we started. This is like a podcast, basically. You know, I think for me is that you know one thing you need to understand that there is no one straight way because we had to do different things for different kids. All of the form, four of them are gifted. It's just about how do you become present. We are of course fortunate as parents because we are healers. So there was another day where Samu uh, was complaining. Oh, what you know? I'm going to dance with Baba. That's what Valin could. And then Baba Wakita and as no bani and then she couldn't go. Then she started complaining that her feet were sore. Her feet were sore, and I said, stand up and dance and stand up and dance. You know, so even with my other child, Tiamo, then we say to her, when you can feel something vibrating in you, stand up so you don't collapse and go into a trance. So that's I think the gift because we have learned over time how to do it. Mm-hmm. Even when Spusi so uh start going into a trance and we would talk with them like, what can we do? He's a child. We need him to grow up. And they made the promise to say, no, they're going to let him grow up, let him go to school, but we should allow for, for, for him to, to do the dancing and the drumming and all the things that he does. And he does it, you know, he doesn't dance as much. I think he's done enough of that. He doesn't sing as much anymore. You remember Spusiso is the guy that was famous for Angus and Zelam. It's on a Latin class. Yeah, uh, uh, yes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's now grown he's not okay he's a boy to us but now he's a grown young man so you know so we did what we could and remember we can't tell you if your child is gifted by you giving us one thing we need to look at the pattern right mm-hmm. because they're also teenagers and they go through adolescence so they go through stages so not every child who's moody is gifted but a mood swing can connect it to dreams connected to creative mm. expression connected to this can mean a coin. These mm. are the signs that possibly mean that your child could be gifted. The best way to find out is to look at the patterns and go see somebody and then immediately do an intervention. And yes, it will not be accelerated if you keep on saying no. So one of the things is that you could do is to say yes and put your hand up and say, what can I do for my child? And, <coughs> uh, you know, let me go forward and... <coughs> It doesn't mean you taking your gift, the gift what moves away. No. Each one is born with their own individual mm-hmm. gift. But if you don't take your gift, I initiated at 29 because my dad was supposed to initiate in his 20s. But I went to initiate at 29. My dad initiated at 50. Mm-hmm. Even after initiating, he still needed to initiate. So Lungile says, and sometimes kids don't have the language to describe what is happening to them. That unfortunately makes it easy for us definitely you see one of the things i use a lot when we are seeing kids is i ask them to draw and i speak to them and ask them Buti, what are you seeing what are you experiencing because also sometimes we misdiagnose kids who have been abused as kids who are gifted mm. because they would uh you know oh, oh actually kids who are gifted and abused and you want to do the gift hunting the cry for help is there's, there's abuse happening you know in, in a child's day the dreams that they're having uh mm-hmm. about scarecrows and stuff it's it's an uncle it's a it's a somebody in the family who's violating that child so 
That's why it's important for us to do a proper assessment. We don't just throw bones when the child <coughs> is there. Also, tell your child that where you are taking them, you try. I ask children when they come and sometimes I excuse the parents with the permission of the child so that the child can open up, um, you know, more. So thank you so much uh, for that. And, oh, thank you so much for the uh, contributions. Sabonga, sabonga. Dimakato, thank you so much for... The, the sticker, thank you very mm -hmm. much. We're very appreciative. It goes a long way. Sabulela. Uh, uh, okay, I'm trying to see what happened to his. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sabulela, we can see I was trying to have you be here because you also gave us some donation of 350. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Uh, oh, nice. Thank you so much, Abulela. Thank you for the con co contributions. Yeah. Like Nishilo, those who have joined in, my nose is very snotty, so I've come down with some some type of something, flu, cold, yana, from the weekend. So please pardon my snotiness, uh, but we're still here doing the work that we need to do, right? Mm -hmm. um, so let's. we're going to go to the questions. Okay. Okay. This is an interesting one. Togoza Koko, my daughter is epileptic. And when I consult to help, they told me, Amatlozi, she gets things and talk. Honestly, I don't know how to deal with this whole situation. I wouldn't also tell you how to deal with it without consulting your daughter. Because mm -hmm. I need to see. Because I've had children who, when the parents bring them and I can say, this is a medical seizure and this is not a medical seizure. Yeah. I didn't. <clears throat> I had a young person who came and for years they've been going, they even went to see a, you know, epilepsy specialist, but she was not having seizures. She was going into a trance. So I wouldn't be able to tell. And when your child is spiritually gifted and she's already trancing, chances are is when she goes into a space, a healing space or a healer space she where the, into, she yeah, she's going to go into a trance. But if it's a seizure, we will also, I can tell by, by doing that because there's several things. I remember we, I was going to, actually, I was going to vets to speak to scientists about um, spiritual causes of disease. Oh, yes. yes, remember that. Mm -hmm. And we had to stop on the side of the road. And that person was actually having an epileptic medical seizure. But we did something spiritual and it aided in that moment. And then we waited for him to get the necessary help. Yeah. But there was something we did. Uh, but I could tell that, no, this is not a, this is, this is not a trance. You know, mm. so yeah, this is not the a more or less look the same. Yeah. So when you you know, Betty, it would be easy for us to then we can say this is what you do because and also if you have not taken your child for a medical check, please do. So that you can also know that you have done the medical checks as well. So you are not just looking at one angle. Mm. It's your child after all, you know. Wish my parents had some of uh, some of this guidance on how to raise and help me. Maybe my life would have been different. Beloved, you know, we all choose our parents <laughs> and we choose them for various various reasons. So even as brilliant as we can sound here, I'm sure to our children the things that we are proud about. <laughs> I'm telling you. Definitely. There are things that they're not happy with us about. And um, your parents did the best that they could with what they know. You know. As they know better, they do better. So you need to understand that because... You needed those kind of parents to realize the person that you have become. Your soul chose your parents. Of course, not your physical self, not your human self, but your soul, spiritual self is the one that said, I want that kind of mother and father who will tell me, no, go pray about it. No, this is demonic. Yes, you know, so it it, it is what it is. Uh, once you do your own healing, you'll understand what we're talking about. I don't have questions. I love your content. Keep educating us. We really are appreciative. We, we, we love this space because our, we you know, we are uh, key in teaching, right? That's, we understand that our mandate is to teach and, and, and that's, that's, that's what it is. So the other thing I wanted to add, would say, okay, so Angina Zangoma, Aguna, Angtwasanga, but my child. Try get your child to do creative extra murals. That is going to help them be regulated. That's going to help them be soothed. So try also to get them into some artistic something. If they like dance, let them dance. 
if they like things and don't panic when they love certain things that I mean that's how I think I knew my mother always says to me because you've always liked African things you know like I always wear dogs I used to buy because not every cloth even though they say it's a sangoma cloth it's sangoma not all beads are about sangomas because there are beads that we wear that represent different things in the family so do not be misled that because like we say and then you're like wow is my child gifted well understand i know for example they put it to my name as in initiation not you know so it's it's be clear and and be sure so don't make assumptions get proper necessary help to know that you are actually you know acting accordingly yeah i think also uh <clears throat> going through all of these things. Also, we need not to panic, because in since cutting, oh panic away to you completely abandon our body. But the body never harm by person. Remember, oh harm we are some members of the team do not do in Zagala. Yes, and yes, we empathize and sympathize for a band who've been through is in this injured. Okay, well, I'm going to sit and make a band about the long band or go and join, but. We are here trying to assist. At least in us, we are trying to assist. Once you panic, that's when it's in the sense of my put. And the moment that my put, we put, and you shall at least learn. Because once they go through that initiation, when they were not supposed to, then it's going to scar them for the rest of their lives. Then there is why, as I'm a parent, even... If it takes you about six months going through the journey before you agree mm, to it, mm. it's okay. What you also need to do, as Uzwa, which Umdwana is gifted, Ufunagala, this and this. Then now, you as a parent, you need to step up and say, Nizokuma nabanta batala, mina, nkulme nabantu bagiti. So that I plead with them, because it also starts with you as a parent. It doesn't start with Umdwana, or it doesn't start Nami, Ukobela, nkulme la Umdwana wako, ubantu bagini, wenagotu mutule mu. It also starts with you to say, hey, and now, so when the guy so is in the happening, now I need to speak to Abantabata. Yes, when you come to us, there's certain things that we can be able to take you through to say, now we will assist you with these are the guidelines that you need to follow. Follow one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll be there with you every step of the way. And I'm sure there's also Abanya, Mapanja, Izangoma, who are also willing to assist, who are also willing to help so that singer to assist but also as a parent, it needs you to stand up. It needs you to also because sometimes because of Miss Mongosaki. It was a little funny and Mudana told this more. A man in Batras is well. Besa Figale and Mudana, Kubu Gilosi, the cool messenger is born of a sector. I, as he says, Gandhi knows his Momosaki. They want to let Gandhi as in his ego. We can easily avoid by Kuma and Kuniso by standing up and by being active, sing a bazaar so that Abandona Betu, Bazu Tola and Billy, because it's not easy to us. It's not an easy journey. <coughs> it's even harder for Abandu Abadal, Utwasa Mushula Matuta and our fans. Baba Dala, Bishati, Bashule, Gabani Babale, Gabani Bashi, a pants. Baba Dala, how about you for Abanduan? It's not easy. No. It's not an easy thing. No. And I think we speaking about these topics, not just here, because we, we can see and we can feel, we feel what other parents feel. 
as you guys are going <laughs> through these processes and all that, the pain, and that we can also see these kids because they become vulnerable. But we now, as I should get into that, it's not easy. And as umuntu or police are having you can even sympathize and say, Hey, as an umuntu and assassin, who's the ones one, me go gang, you get me into it. It's those. Yeah, somebody said, "Oh, um, no, no, Shaman Kuma said, 'Toes a cocoa and Kulu.' Um, let me show you your comment. And Kulu, I wish you were closer. Your teachings are beyond my imagination. I know raising, I'm raising a gift in child. He's ten. I've just taken the process. So we do online consultations, tribe. Mm-hmm. We do Zoom. We do WhatsApp call. And please note, when we say those things, we don't do SMS or texting consultation. You will see me on Kulu." like this mm-hmm. that's how we work so that you are know yeah. because we need to be very worried that there's a lot of yeah, scammers, scammers out there, out there yeah, you know no, that are, are, are scamming people so i think Wuti, you know charmaine get to the bottom of it at 10 because the next peak of the gift will be at 12. In the next two years it's going to go like that and the reason is that 12 you know all this te- like 12 is three right nine is when he goes through changes and transition and then three is when he goes through a trinity, a coming together of something. Seven is a when he go, comes from he 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 moves away from infancy and what we call childhood, entering the early stages of teenagehood. So that's how it goes. As they grow up as well, they go through another awakening state and another awakening state. So somebody asked Buti, their child have, has eczema. And his problems with the eyes could be a gift. Yes, we are not here to tick to say to you if you didn't listen to this, please revisit it and hear. Yeah. Yes, unexplainable medical conditions that medical interventions can cure could be a sign, but some children need a ritual because, like we said, with Busiso, he had eye problems, mm-hmm. his eyes were teary. This is before I became a Sangoma, this is before Teddy became a Sangoma. He was seven months. We went to a pediatrician. They just said something that didn't make sense, but he looked so uncomfortable and his eyes were blood red. And we went to somebody that, no, can this see what I can? So we did that. So we've done a whole lot of other things um, that we've done. Um, and once we've done them, we know how to actually start to decipher for ourselves with no man just say, but they don't mm-hmm. give us problems anymore. He's actually doing very well at school. He's stable, you know, mm-hmm. he's got hair and, and all of that. Marushusha is the, you know, but we know which part of the zinyo is what. <laughs> yeah. Somebody says on the first Saturday next year, they'll come see us. I feel so lost as if nobody understands me. Because Oh, my Zulu is good, hey? Yeah, man. I read it. I can't see Oh, yeah, I can't see him. Zoom. Chosen Coconum cooling in Temba Ugutinia Pila, Gabong, and is from this on Loazi, and his capella one. So, Cocos just basically give gratitude. You see, there are people who do appreciate Mkulu's teachings in Guni because mm-hmm. you don't because to understand. These teachings are for them also. Yeah. You know, you know it's, 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 it's one of those things. Ugutti, sometimes you see Chahel Wheel Pilis Abandule, versus Shia Lava Basting, like it's not yeah. Ugutti Abandule, but but also there's laba abanga sazis ngisi. Yes. Hey, namuchangi kuna mukulumu kachwa ni zoma mela. Yes. Mwamba ukuluma na ati. Yes. Yes. And the umma mukuluma na everybody. Yes. Then nami fani le mshabule le na laba ba. Nzo sfunda ni shanga ni suru. Nzo kuluma ni suru. Uze sikuwa zuguti silo na sikuwe yongi ndo so that at the end of the day si sikuwa zupili sa isi zomo ba umsebe nzi suru ni zuguti si upili si silo. Yeah. No, Sabong as I think we beg and joy cut to Sagate. And uh we do try when I'm on my own, I mostly use English, mm-hmm. but sometimes I also have to use a Venex so that I can translate later because mm-hmm. we need to understand what to also miss to us about to us mm-hmm. like how do you say nyong is the singles? Multiply it sounds awful. You can't say stomach fat. Yeah, well, like like in a sick zulu than uti yeah. a few years ago i was at school and when i was preparing for my final exams 
because my parents were not accepting the fact that I'm gifted and embracing it even now is still the same thing. So as I'm a child, Ekaya, what do I do and how do I go about everything? Because the number of things that I have been shown that require, but when I go to them, we are fine, they don't entertain them. So what can I do? Because okay, if you don't sound like you are young, young, you know, no. seven or, you know, no. maybe tell me your age, then I can hear the sound. No, I think that's school. Then mm. how, how long was that? Yeah. So <laughs> it's actually age, then we can guide him what you do. Tawaza Kokonomkulu, I have dreams relating to Tawasa. I was told I have a bit closer for from my father's side, the thing is just, I just met my paternity side last year and my granny is a sangoma and also my dad. So I'm not sure whether I have a gift or getting a isigo. Maybe it's that there. I wouldn't mm. know either. You see, I can't give input on somebody else's diagnosis. Mm. You won't find a medical practitioner who comes in and say, I was diagnosed with bronchitis and says, yeah, by what you're telling me is bronchitis. They will need to make a diagnosis mm. myself, you know, themselves. Why don't you go, Ekaya, because you just found your paternal side and hear what they have to say. Maybe I always encourage you to because it creates a solid foundation for you. It's always the best anyway. Because because so this is one of the things when people say, yeah, but Coco, I'm not shown and they say I must go. There is a fundamental process or ritual that is required for you, for the dots to connect, for the electricity to cool, you know, for the Wi-Fi to be activated, for, for, for the low shading not to shed. And that's why we're doing, we're doing the stream on, on Wednesday. Please notice, because tomorrow at this time, we, we're going to be doing um, we low shading, but I'm going to be on Twitter space at 10 and speaking about of trough and spirituality, because there I can speak. Because la gonna be tet on every come where corner. So tomorrow we'll be on Twitter space. No, you. Hmm? you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not coming. I'm kulu mkulu funubona as born. Yes. Yeah. I was a figure stand the sun. Okay. Let's go. Oh, simple says I'm 24 years old. No, you're old enough, Coco Guzmela. Uh, you know, if I was a bit, we've had 24 year olds, you know, uh, who come. It becomes very, very difficult if you are unemployed and you're financially dependent on your parents. But Maza Mama planned because Abanya Matati Malia was cafeteen as a city just to consult because, um, I guess so that's irresponsible because we don't know what's sitting in your in your somebody might take that and I come with my family. The other thing is. You know, when is in those things, since it will come you. Sometimes when you reach out and see Kuruma, Skumela Masse, it was easy to see. I was goody, see, see Bonsan, and then you see Scar to get things done goody. Now, as Umundu Bonisa goody, Unnent of Nugians, and over sometimes Siakulum, Siakulum, Sikinang and Kulum, which you gave one and to go to sing at Tatina Telus goody, or Jabasuso, outing him in the flag. Yeah. Then Isiagwazu Mwaba ea ea yako ipegene nawe ngo. Ngati umaba umundo ngawazu uti ustinde so wazu kulumisa. Ngati umaba ntinda ukoko ume nama zetu. Oh no, I've already given the numbers. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. also on our website is gokodinaonzanzi.com. Uh -huh. It's a .com, not a .co, .za. And uh -huh. there's a consultation page there that will take you to the WhatsApp line because uh -huh. me and Kulum Kashas I think yours can, people can book, no, they can't, they can't book for us online because us, it's a bit of a complicated system. I, I know with mine, because there's an advanced booking, uh, like right now I'm sitting at one month the waiting list. I've been trying to push consultation so that it's no longer two months. Um, mm -hmm. We've been two to three months 
waiting. Kulu is also now anywhere week by week because we've pushed a lot of consultations. Because yeah, we do understand that people do want to see us and sometimes they end up going for standard consultations. Because, you know, there's certain things that they have to come to us for them to consult us because it's that it's high level. It requires an experience um, consultant to be able to determine what is the best course of action for the child. So there's certain instances where you know, we, we would also be called in or they'll come, but I will tell them they need to book your consultation because I don't know, you know, from what I'm getting from the Kogos. So Gobo Kogo, they're good. But I would say that if, you, if things are complex, especially with gifted children or goodness in this corners, and and then rather book for the, you know, what we call the exclusive consultations. Yeah, it's hard being an ancestral kid. It is hard. You know, it is very hard. I've had yeah. lots of young children, but I have refused <laughs> to initiate them because I feel like they've been robbed of uh, their childhood. It doesn't make life easier, but because there's certain things once you've done initiating that you don't have the luxury to do now because you are welcome to, uh, you know, to be able to send us topics suggestion we've got a long list of topics and some of them are banking them for the podcast mm -hmm. uh but we've got a long list of topics that cool will be coming in especially that you know because you could see even with the comments we've got a lot of good people commenting mm -hmm. um so, which is good uh, i think yes jamnisa because we do want to to see 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 we're going to be just exclusive you <coughs> Maybe next time get that get that Yeah. Oh, I think we did answer that. What does it mean? I truly don't know. Guabo Baba and Nungu Pupa Gigabo Baba. I won't know, hey. Would you finally be a Kaya? We only tell a Babala. No more will they see Gola Sekai finally with Bawens and alone. You know, whether it's your own desire of really needing to connect with your family, your inner child wants to be part of their father's life. Mm -hmm. So we would not know from one dream. Again, be careful as we conclude the stream. Do not take one sign of your child and like, mm -hmm. oh, right? Don't make self-diagnosis. Yeah. They are very dangerous because you can be misdiagnosing. And don't also overreact. You know, pace yourself poise yourself, take it easy, steadily. Mm -hmm. It is best for you that way, for you and your child. And if you know you are gifted, so so act accordingly. And uh, do not go to somebody who's going to threaten you, make you feel like you have no choice, otherwise your child... You know when somebody starts to be manipulative and deceitful about, like, if you don't do it, you have to do it now. When people are coercing you, you know, when there's cohesion or you have to consent for anything. So even if when you come to us, we do give you three months to make up your mind before you do, do, do that treatment and be like, this is what you do. And when people want to come back, they come back to us and they say, hey, I want to do this treatment. You know, can I do it this way? Can I do it? They, they do because we don't become upfront and make it easy. We use a standard thing for everyone, but we work with people who are willing to work with us and people who are seeking healing. That's how we work. Um, because it's important. Consent is very important because we are working with the temple of creator and we cannot temper with it by not consenting. No, that's true. That's my last words. <clears throat> yeah. Sing feel a better than a button. I'm going to sing a positive banda. Kulu, your closing words, closing song. Chogozu, chogozan, banda, bata, wana, siya, bonga, kakulu, is bonga, kakulu, we support this, bonga, kakulu, oguti, nibe, nati, ende, si, tembe, ende, ni, si, fi, se, mwuti, Nati Lani Corner, Nanaba Ride, Nishona Banduana, as Bamba Nini, see Sisu Sinsundu, Sibe Indo, Eoto, see Hamas Legal Lanini, Moba Loku, your Hamburg, your school is a girl Hamburg, whose school is Lucipa Mark, Nyasbong and Agakulu, the hospitality and the Babizanile, who Patega Gashamingila, and the Vini and Nui tribe, Nabonga Kulu, Nabonga Kulu, Miss Carty. I think I think in a manner this is a receiver. This is a call. This is a call. I'm a voice. Oh, I hear. Copy. I'm a voice. 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 I'm a voice
nizo kwazi ukuthi before kuphela le nyanga ibe nginenzele lento lengi ngithemse ona ngenyanga ngengevike edlulu ukuthi before kuphela le nyanga nje ngikwazi ukuthi nginike kona ngihlambe siza kwenza nje after indaba zakho zabo heritage we had rufaro topics are siphoning spirits and dark ancestors yes noted noted noted